We know today that intima hyperplasia is very frequently occurring in the radio artery as well. It's a gener general systemic disease, as we know today. Atherosclerosis is such a disease. And we also know this vessel bed is also frequently used, at least functionally, since the flow mediated vasodilation in this vascular bed do predict future events. So uh, together with uh, the uh, Shamash Technology, uh, University of Technology, we did a series of uh, validation study to validate what's the resolution of the machine in reality. We made a lot of phantoms, silicon phantoms. We could see that the tube resolution using a 55 megahertz probe is down to 20 micro. And we took biopsies from human, uh, human uh, mesenteric artery biopsies. And we did 3D offline measurement. We could see clearly this very nice correlation, not only intima media thickness, but also intima. So suddenly we can see differentiate uh, intima from media, which is not known before with the clinical machine. So uh, with this kind of data, without any doubt, you can say, yes, it's intima we are measuring. Just to convince our uh, doubters, so we did another interesting experiment. We took a piece of vessel, flattened it, and I played with the lancet, peeled the endothelium off. What do you see here? You see breaks in the intima layer. You see the intima is gone. So the high-resolution ultrasound can measure not only intima media thickness. The first white line you usually see with the clinical machine is not a machine artifact. It is something. It reflects the intima, intima thickness. I hope this image convinces you. And does it mean anything? We applied the machine on 320 patients in the first study, and we measured the intima thickness. And what happens is the intima thickness itself predicts outcome. You can see those who have intima thickness uh, thinner than 80 micron have greater event-free survival. And this measure is much more powerful than conventional carotid IMT, carotid plaque. 